Okay guys, we've got an Operation Thunderbolt here. This is a Tato game from the late 80s, early 90s, somewhere in there. I'm not sure exactly. It was the sequel to Operation Wolf, or Wolf, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Jeff and I always call it Operation Wolf, just because it's more fun. Um, the cabinet's nice and solid, no water damage, or at least none that I'm aware of. I don't, yeah, doesn't look like there's any. It's a little scuffed up in some places. The, the side art has kind of peeled in a couple places like there and a little bit up here. But for the most part, it's intact. The front looks just phenomenal on it. Uh, I've got new LED bulbs here. We've got a new uh, bulb and starter in here. The uh, monitor has been rebuilt and has a new flyback. It's actually been repaired. This, you may recognize this, this is the same Operation Thunderbolt from the last Arcadia auctions, but that one was sold um, with the monitor dead and the, the guy that bought it just wanted the board out of it. So I luckily had a couple more Operation Thunderbolt boards on my shelf. So um, I just chipped him a board and decided to go ahead and fix the monitor on this and sell it as a working game. So. Now it's a fully working Operation Thunderbolt, uh, and it's in really pretty darn good solid shape. It's got the original back door. There's your uh, Hantrex monitor. Uh, I think it's a 9110. Picture's just phenomenal on it. Still got the original keys for the for the back door and for the access door down here. If that, that's a drawer that all the electronics are in, you can put a key in there, open that up, slide it out if you ever need to change the power supply or monkey with the board. This uh, has got working coin mechs in it for quarters and it's got a nice clean coin box in it. It's all ready to go. I mean, it's ready to go into your arcade. The guns, the recoil works on both of them. I mean, this, this thing just plays like new. It really plays well. Operation initiated. Rescue all hostages. And it's not a bad game to play. I mean, the graphics are kind of primitive by today's standards. No doubt about it. But it's got the same kind of game gameplay as um, Operation Wolf, which you know is a great game with a great feel. This has a good feel to it. And the gun, you can hear it. There's a recoil solenoid in the, uh, in the machine gun that... You can tell they worked on the graphics over, um, oops, I wasn't supposed to shoot, or maybe I was supposed to shoot that guy, um, over, um, oh, the trigger switch isn't working real well on this one. I need to figure that out. Huh, it played a minute ago. Hello? Alright, well, I'll, I'll get the trigger switch working must just be a loose connection in here because it was working a minute ago. Um, let me just see if I can get that right now while I got the video rolling. There's the wire. Buttons working, but the tr trigger switch just isn't working. You can see the aim's working there. Huh. All right. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to take this apart and figure it out. It's just a loose, just a loose wire inside here. Um. So anyway, I'll do that. But in the meantime, um. And obtained information. It's a really good game in really good shape. You can just you can count on both guns working. I'll get that fixed and I'll mention it in the listing description, the text. But I'm not going to make this video go on for 10 minutes while I take that gun apart. So um, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.